So welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. We're going to continue our look at the Surex load cell cards. Uh, previously, we opened a um, reference project, which is a free download from the support page, and upgraded it to the latest version of TIA Portal. What I'm going to show you now is if you have an existing project and you add a Surex card to it, um, how you import and use the reference project. So I've only got a small project up and running here on my screen now. So you can see this is the uh, pressure transmitter, Profibus PA connected to the compact field unit. So that project is there. Um, you know, it's always worth making a, a backup or uh, uh, using version control within TIA portal just in case you make some mistakes. So, what you need to have on your desktop or somewhere where you, you can quickly find it is the um, reference project that has been upgraded to the version of TIA portal you are working on. And then down here you can see I've got reference projects, but if you um, do view, it's not ticked by default, so you need to tick it. So there's my reference project. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the card to my hardware. So here's my hardware. So let me just back. Okay, so it's connected directly to my PLC on the second slot hardware catalog and Cirex is on the technology modules weigh in and we have the two channel Cirex so if we put that into there okay we can minimize the catalog now and we'll have a look at some of the properties so I need to make a note of this start address for and then I have channel zero and channel one. Well, I'm not using channel one, so um, I can put the diagnostics. Um, these are um, interrupts. So if you have a, a load cell in a critical application, you can tick these and it will generate a, an interrupt call either on your HMI or your PLC. So that's in there. We're gonna uh, do the normal. So we'll compile the hardware. And then I'm going to download it. And we'll just make sure that the card can be seen by going online. So there we have it. There's my card, PLC is in run, I can see both of my cards. It is important to note that you will, you will need to um, wire 24 volts onto the card uh, for it to um, appear as OK in your project, otherwise it will say device not detected in the diagnostics. So, um, what I need to do now is open my reference project. So, if I come up, I have is saved on my desktop. Okay. And there's a backup and there's the main project. So I'll open that. So now we've got the reference uh, project open. Uh, really, we just want to focus on getting the data into the PLC. I see um, uh, a lot of people, they try and do it all in one go. Um, and it can get uh, a little bit messy. Now, this card is a dual channel card, um, so we can wire two separate weighing systems into one card, hence the name 522. The single channel is 521. So if you have a look at the blocks, there are two data blocks. And my advice really is to copy all of these, including the data blocks. We can change the data block number if it... Uh, um, conflicts with something in your project but uh, TIA portal has a symbolic link here 
to the HMI and if you keep it exactly as it is in this project when you come to do the HMI later on it means there's less work to do so if we just copy all of those okay and we're going to drag those into our main program block it should come up with a warning okay because we already have an OB1 and that may be the case for your project so we're going to rename it so uh, we'll end up with two OB1s okay but what we're going to do is open up this OB you can see there's a there's a few tags and we're just going to um, let's just collapse all the networks copy those And for my project, I haven't got anything in OB1, but I just wanted to go through the theory. So I'm going to paste that into here. So um, I've got a few things that I need to do to tidy this up. So this, the first thing is let's close this one down so we don't get confused. And we'll delete that one. We don't need that one anymore. So we've only got one OB. So come to this address in a minute. We've got channel 0, channel 1, and then we've got channel 0 and channel 1. These two blocks down here synchronize the SURREX time with the PLC time. Okay, um, So the main block here uh, are these two blocks. And we're going to put some tags in here. I've already set them up. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to find out what to put in this address here. To do that, we need to go to the PLC and check the card. And what we're interested in is the start address. And the start address here is 6. Okay. Now, this is where a lot of people make mistakes. Um, when you go back to your OB1, you don't have to put memory word 6 in, memory byte 6. All you need to do is put the number 6 in. Okay? There must be something internally in the block that uh, sorts that out. So there we have it. We now just have to compile. And we've got no errors. And download. And what we're trying to see now to, to prove that this block is, is working, if we go online, what we want to see is this life bit toggling. And that's the key to, to the Surex. So as soon as you see these life bits toggling, the likelihood is that the, uh, the block is working. So we'll just have a look at some of the, the, the things just to, to highlight what's happening. So if we go into your time interrupt, I think it's 100 milliseconds, this particular one. In here, there's two blocks, one for each channel, but because we dragged and dropped everything in without changing the name, everything's okay. So if we go to the data block for, for channel A or channel 0, we can go online with this one. And your process value, if you need to use it in other parts of your program, is here. So we have the um, real uh, wait okay so once you've got to this stage the actual Cirrex is connected you've got the 24 volts wired up you've got the load cell connected you'll be able to squeeze the load cell and see these values changing we can see the bit toggling so everything is working with regards to the PLC so there we have it we've integrated the Surex WP522 dual channel load cell card into an S7-1500 PLC. Part uh, uh, B of this video, we're going to concentrate on integrating the HMI and connecting it to this data block. So thanks for listening. Please stay tuned for the, for the next part coming up in the next few days. Cheers.